All right, guys. So we'll just put the fins on. You can see that <clears throat> they're glued. So we have to basically let them dry for a couple hours. Well, not for that long, but whatever. Maybe about 45 minutes. I'm going to go stick it out in the sun and let it dry. And then, uh, yeah. So from there, uh, we'll start the airbrushing. I gave it a little bit of a white coat, sanded it down a bit. Uh, I didn't do the fins yet because I'm just going to leave them as they are. They're a, little, they're a little thick, whatever. They'll look good when we paint them up. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we've got the fins on, and we're going to start our paint. So taking the airbrush, we're going to start. There's some green in there. You can see that. We're going to start the green going on first. So I'm going to bring you down. You may hear the pump go on a little bit here and there. So we're just going to start off <clears throat> by just putting a green base on it first, just to get um, more of the lateral line kind of pinched out, I guess. I wanted to, I wish I could get a better cam camera angle for you guys. And you will hear that pump go off the odd time. Hold on here. So we're ringing the bells. We're going to start off by adding a little bit of green all the way through. The fins uh, were just put on, so they are kind of, they're just drying. And I'm not worried about it. So we're going to start off with a nice little coat of green at the bottom, right in the middle, basically. And all the way through. Oh yeah, today I'm using... So this is a uh, Citadel, I think it's called. Um, it's just a, it's just green. So I'm going with that. Now it looks kind of dark, but that's okay because there's other colors that are going to be on it too, right? We want to make sure that we blend in our colors properly. So we'll be doing some color changes here. So as I'm doing color changes, I'd like to uh, clean out the, the, the brush a little bit. So I'll be cutting in and out kind of thing. And that's it. So I'm gonna switch out to the blue and I'll be right back. So for the blue, um, this was a tester brand and it was from Michaels. They don't sell it anymore. You can still get it online. So we're gonna try to keep Keep that blue all the way through into the top of the fin here. You can see? Sort of blending it into the green. So we want that both look of green and blue to our fish. And it also goes up into the head. So past the eye. I'm not worried about the eyes. Uh, the eyes I will basically, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just paint up black. Now it's hard to see because I'm, I'm at the wrong angle for you guys. I'll try to do my best to get in there and show you more after. Now you can mask off your fins if you want. I really don't do it because you know what? It just adds the color into it. this dry for a little bit and we'll move on to the red part and that's just going to go under where you can see the line here I'm going to try to make that stand out a bit more and it also falls on some of the fins I see it goes into the tail So we're at this stage now. Um, <clears throat> I think this way. 
I think now what we're going to do is we're going to let it dry. We added three, two colors, red, no, three colors, red, green, and blue. So um, we also want to add, you know, there's some white and a little bit of yellow in there, stuff like that. Like it's a vibrant fish, so vibrant colors. Um, I noticed that with any kind of painting, even if you're doing, you know, just hand painting, uh, you got to take your time and let it dry properly because once you start touching this, it ends up smudging and everything. I mean, I already got it on my fingers. Um, really don't want to touch the wet paint, but we're getting there. We're getting some color to it. We just got to start blending in the colors. Like now it just looks like uh, blue, green, and red fish, right? Or colors. Well, there's also, you know, to tone it down with some white. Like I said, there's some yellow and uh, a little bit more green on the fins and all that. Let's just wash everything up, let it dry, and I'll get back. All right, guys. So did a little bit of work on it off camera because I was busy doing shit. So I toned it down. You can see I put some white on it. And the white tones the color because it was very, very vibrant. So next is we want to add some spots of yellow. We did some white. And now we're going to go with the yellow. So just letting the tank fill up. Add our color to our airbrush. Don't need much, just a bit. Now, I'm just going to add little dots of yellow, just to give it some different color. It's yellow, and yellow, green, and blue mix very, very well. Okay, see the yellow is popping out pretty good. Whoa, and it's spilling all over me. Shit. Yeah, you don't want to do that because you're going to get it all over your fish. And remember, take your time when you're airbrushing. No big rush. You can add some darker spots, more, a little bit more dark than, than the, the white. You can see the color difference in there. Oops. The other side. A little bit too much red. See we put some in there. From a distance, give it a little bit of a splash of a color. Now I'm not sure what color the teeth are supposed to be or inside the mouth. So we'll just mix up a little bit of colors of blues and green and red and just to give it some contrast. And then the eyes have a black but a tinge of yellow in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go under the eye a little bit and then I'm going to switch out to the black. Alright, oh. so um, yeah, I did it again. I didn't press the record. So anyway, it's almost done. We're going to go put a clear coat on it and uh, We'll show you what it looks like when it's done, then we're going to mount it to something. So we'll figure that out soon. All right, guys. We made it through a one video. Or is it two? One. Whatever. Who cares? Let me turn it. So there it is. There's the salmon I carved. I have it on a piece of... Uh, this is a diamond willow. And then that's a piece of... Cherry. No. Something. Christ, I can't remember the name. Uh, Walnut. Anyway, it's beautiful. So that's what it looks like. It's bolted. I got some glue back there, but that's okay. That's called, that'll dry. That holds it up. You'll never see it because it's going to be on the wall. Right now it's on a hook. So we'll, 
There's a hook. I just put it in. I put a couple of screws to hold that in. That will be put on like that. Hopefully it doesn't fall. And uh, yeah, it's like it's on the wall. All right. So let me know what you think this time, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a give me a comment because I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos, but I don't know if you guys are subscribed or not. You don't say nothing. You don't give a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, I mean, like, there's a there's a shit down button if you don't like it. Give me something. Let me know what you guys think of my projects. I know it's not the best. It's not 100%, you know, accurate for, um, you know, like competitions and that. But does it look good? Does it look sh like shit? Let me know. I need to know because, you know what, I'm going to stop doing videos if I can't get anybody saying, like, I don't need the attention. Do I look like I need attention? Maybe I do. I don't need attention. But what I need is, you know, just... I like for YouTube to have to share this more to everybody else. So if everybody would just say yay, no, thumbs up, whatever, I think it does something. I don't know. Anyway, remember guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Choose your own path. You know what? Be good. See you on the next one.